going on everyone in this video i'll be talking about the october sat that you all just took and what the general consensus was how the math was how the reading was what the curve should be as well as what to do from here on out so let's get right into the video now before this video starts i would like to thank today's sponsor my st daily problem website yes guys i'm launching a daily problem website that you guys can use to get your daily st practice in every single day up until your sat because this way you guys will be able to maximize the st score to the fullest potential this site is better than every single sd daily problem website out there because this is modern slick great explanations great representative problems everything and anything that you guys can use to get that high SAT score. Now, let's get into the video. So the October SAT has just happened and so many students are already flooding my inboxes, flooding my comments of my latest videos, saying how they felt the October SAT was for them. Some students loved it, some students hated it, some people thought the October SAT was like you know, kind of on the harder end, some people thought it was on the easier end. What is the general consensus? Honestly, from the feedback I got, a lot of people thought the October SAT was like an average SAT in terms of difficulty because one section was much harder than the other and we will get into that very soon before i get into that real quick comment down below which section do you think was harder because i'm actually very curious and if you're watching this video i want you to read all the comments if you have you know help other people out people are scared let them know that'll be fine if you have any questions about you know your personal assessment then you can maybe ask them in the comments about you know what you thought about it and with some feedback and you can relate to other people and you guys can have a whole general discussion in the comment section i, I want to see that and i'll also chime in and reply to a bunch of comments talking about the first section of the sat let's talk about the reading section right the reading section is uh, debatable right now a lot of the feedback said the reading was hard a lot of a lot of students thought the reading was uh, the harder section of the two uh, they thought writing was fine but the actual comprehension part was hard which makes a lot of sense because like i said guys in almost all my videos reading is hard right the reading section of the sat is usually always significantly harder and it's not because like college boards like yo we're gonna make reading super hard it's just because reading is hard in itself right math the answer is clear cut right it's a b c or d you, you put in a formula, you put the numbers in the formula, and you get a finite answer, a single answer. There's no like, hmm, is this a better answer? No, there's only one answer, right? For reading, you can argue that there's two answers, but one is better than the other. And when that is the case, you know, that's when you're like, well, what should I do? Like, which answer should I pick? And that's why reading just is harder because it relies a lot on human you know, opinion and judgment and sentiment and not on numbers and facts. And the one thing I'm actually, you know, looking proud about myself is that all my students who bought the SAT math course that I created have all told me that, at least the ones I replied, have all told me that the math section was an easy section for them, one of the easiest they've ever taken because of all the tips and tricks that are featured in the course. So I do want to pat myself on the back. And if you guys haven't got it already, check the link in the description below. Now, let's say you thought the math section was hard and after hearing all this, you're like, dang, so everyone's saying it's easy, but it was hard for me. What should I do? Well, I did just mention one resource you can use, but you can also use other free resources like Khan Academy as well as some general SAT math websites. And you could also use my personal website where I have daily SAT problems that have both math and reading. So, you know, based on the day, you might get some extra math practice that can help you just for free. But going back to SAT reading, guys, how can you improve on that if you thought it was hard? Well, with SAT reading, what you can do is you just gotta read more. Honestly, that's one of the best things you can do. You know, use Khan Academy. Right, where Khan Academy is one of the best resources, best free resources, and honestly, best resources like general, even better than a lot of the paid ones that you can use to learn all the reading skills and grammar skills you need to know to be successful on SAT. Uh, guys, I started off with a 620 on reading, and I eventually got a 740. Like that is a 120 point increase, and all I used was Khan Academy for reading. So you guys can literally do the same, or, and also watch my other uh, SAT reading videos and SAT reading playlist which features all the SD reading, you know, skills and tips that you can use to uh, improve your SD reading score. Now talking about the math section, I already alluded to it earlier when I mentioned my SD math course. The SD math section was the easier section, right? As it usually always is, a lot of students felt very comfortable about this one. They thought it was easier than uh, some of the previous SATs. Uh, there were some reports that like the, a lot of the problems were the same ones as the June 2021 US SAT, which may or may not be true. I have not confirmed that. Maybe you guys can comment down below if that is the case because the SAT has been reused a couple of times, right? Like College Board has gotten lazy with it and they have done that stuff. So that's very that's a very probable thing. That's why I say take a lot of practice tests because 
you might end up taking the same SAT over again, but this time it'll count. For the math SAT guys, you know, it, use Khan Academy, like I always talked about, obviously the problem's a little harder than they should be. Uh, use my course, use my SAT uh, daily problem website, and use any other math resource you can use just, you know, to focus on your mental math, focus on your general understanding of linear equations, quadratics. You basically want to study anything and everything that you learn at high school when it comes to you know math before senior year, before calculus, right? Because that's what's going to be on the SAT. So practice your trigonometry, practice your circles, practice all that, and you guys will be successful on the math SAT. Now, let's talk about the curve, right? The curve is something that a lot of students are like, hmm, how is this going to be? October SAT in the past has had an average curve. It also has had a harsh curve. So based on the sentiment of the SAT for the October one, I can probably say that since like reading was exceptionally hard and math was easy, uh, not crazy easy, I feel like the curve will be more, a little bit more forgiving. So even if you get like a, a lot wrong, your score won't be, you know, just hitting the sand right away. No, you might have to get three wrong to lose 10 points because the curve is a nicer curve. Now, like I said, in the past, the curve has been hard or average. So that means like you get a little bit of questions wrong, you get a lot of points off. So the question is, is this gonna be the same case? Based on sentiment, it looks like this year will be a new curve for the October SAT, but we will not know for sure, obviously until the curve comes out. So let's see what happens with that. Now for the depressed people, just kidding. For anyone looking to improve on the next SAT, or maybe your SAT is in a couple of days because it got postponed because uh, including weather conditions. What you want to do from here on out, is you want to make sure you first maximize your SAT math score, right? Use my daily problem So use the course, use as many resources as you possibly can to get that 800 because getting 800 SAT math is so doable, especially this year with all the resources I'm giving you guys, it's 100% doable, okay? Now SAT reading, obviously that's a harder one. I don't even have SAT reading course. Luckily my daily problem website does have a SAT reading problems as well. So you can you know use those for practice every day or every other day, but I don't have a course for that, sadly. But maybe I will make one soon. But until then, you know, there's Khan Academy, right? Read more, read articles, read anything and everything you possibly can. Take those practice SATs where, you know, they have a bunch of passages that you can use, you can learn from, you can look at your mistakes, you can see what you got wrong, what you got right, and use that to become the best SAT reading test that you possibly can. But this is what you gotta do, right? This is how you improve, and this is how you maximize your SAT reading score because we're all in the same boat. We're good at math, we suck at reading, and this is what we gotta do to make sure we are able to get the highest score achievable. Right? We want that over 700 ST read section because we know we know our math score will be solved already. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please be sure to check out my ST Brown website. It's amazing. Check out my course. Check this is my October ST recap. Please be sure to check my website link in the description below for daily ST problems as well as my course. And thank you all for watching. Comment down below how you felt about your October ST and when your ST is. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video. Peace.